everybody, welcome to the Waldoc Way. I'm Jessica, and this is going to be one part of an entire week-long series of our second grade homeschool curriculum picks. So if you stick around, you're gonna see our math, language arts, science, and geography, and history, and electives, and basically everything that I have chosen and put together for a awesome second grade homeschool year. But I wanted to make sure that this disclaimer was in every video, so you're gonna see this every day, and that is that we will not be using everything that you see from start to finish, lesson by lesson, exactly how it's written. So we tend to choose things that work for us, where we need the help, where we want the help. Um, if it's language arts and it's a concept she knows, I am fine skipping those lessons. If it's science and it's something she's not interested in, I am fine skipping that. Um, I will link up here a video about how I set homeschool goals for the year so that you can see that. But I just want you guys to know that what you see is what I've acquired. So the things I think we're going to enjoy for second grade and the things that I've purchased or made to add to our year. It's not necessarily everything we're going to do step by step exactly how it's written. If you want a more real time view of what we're doing, make sure you're following me on Instagram and Facebook because that is pretty much where I post the most real time view of our homeschool. And make sure you're subscribed and that you hit that little bell notification icon so that you're notified every day when a new curriculum pick goes up this week. Today's subject is math and it's probably no surprise to most of you that for math our main thing will be life of Fred. Emily adores Fred and she loves the story based concepts within the books so life of Fred will be our main thing. However we are adding something completely new this year and the reason we're doing that is because this past semester, my husband took statistics, which I made an A in, um, but when trying to help him, his loving self said I was the worst math teacher ever. Um, he didn't really mean that, but I do not explain concepts very well, apparently. Um, math comes very naturally to me, so it's not something I explain well. So either we are going to have to work on my teaching math seriously, or teaching textbooks is going to work. And then Life of Fred um, and teaching textbooks together will just be what we need. So we will see and I will keep you guys updated on that. We will not be getting rid of Life of Fred though, either way, because she loves it so much. If teaching textbooks works for her because that teacher is um, a better fit for her than me, which is fine. Life of Fred will just move to our morning basket time instead. She loves Fred too much to give him up. So Fred will be part of our math this year, no matter what. Now I am showing you dogs and Edgewood, but we actually have the books all the way through Jelly Beans. So we will just get through whatever we get through in those books. The other thing we have is Wild Math, which is an outdoor curriculum guide for grades two and three. We used um, a bulk of grade one last year and we really love it. Here in Florida, any day that is not so hot that you're going to, um, have your face melt off, we like to be outside. So this is perfect for that. That means we can abandon all of our schoolwork for the day and just go outside and enjoy the weather while we do math. And so that is what this will be for. Um, I haven't bound this yet because I actually am considering just putting it on a clipboard so that it's easier to take outside with us. So I don't know what I'm doing with it yet, but wild math will definitely be in the rotation. All right, now because Math is not Emily's favorite thing, but it is one of mine. I try to get as many fun math things as possible, and I may have gone a little overboard at Buzzborn, I will not lie, because they have so many different fun math things for kids. So I got quite a few of the Lift the Flap math books and the um, Buzzborn Activity math base books. Now the Lift the Flap books are beautiful, colorful, they have um, different flaps with the different concepts. So every one of these is just amazing. They all have, you know, over 150 flaps and the activity books, the same thing. So they're colorful. They have, you know, fun activities. It doesn't really even hardly seem like you're doing math. There's stickers in the back for some of the activities. So it's not just, you know, writing with your pencil. Um, just like I said, fun. So the concepts that I grabbed were the adding and subtracting, the measuring things, the telling time, the times tables, 
and the fractions and decimals. I also picked up the math in the garden. Um, now, I almost didn't buy this because it is a little pricier than what I would have liked to have spent. It's between $20 and $30 because you have to pay for shipping. Um, and it came in at the end of our gardening unit this year. However, I wish I had just bought it earlier because it is gorgeous and I love it. And it's something like you can see here, it goes up to ages 13. So it's something we can use for the next five years. So um, we will definitely be using this in the spring when we plant our garden. I also picked up a few of the real world math. We did the zookeeper version of this in first grade and we absolutely loved it. Um, these books come in three different levels. You have the blue level is beginner, orange level is intermediate, and purple level is advanced. And you can see here some of the different titles that they have in the blue level. Um, I will tell you, you will not be able to find these books new. The author is Wendy Clemson if you go to search for them. I found them on thrift books. Now, I got them in very good condition, so it ended up being perfect for us. Um, but I had to have them because they they show her that math is not just drill and kill, pen and paper, but that you need it for the jobs that you're going to do in the real world. So we got the Treasure in the Jungle, Ocean Giants, and Journey to the Moon. And if I can find the others, um, I will be purchasing them as well. I have them all in my thrift books wish list. And then these are the other two wipe clean books that come in the key skills set from Usborne. So we have adding and subtracting. These are the two math ones. And like I said, perfect for car schooling or shrewing. It's a great um, supplemental review that's a little more fun because it's wipe clean and that's always more fun for kids. So I have those for her. And then the last thing I have again is the what your second grader needs to know because math is included in it. Let's see if it's the same color it is. So the math is in blue. And what this is, is it has the concepts and then it kind of talks you through it and it gives you hands on ideas for how to teach them and how to do them. So it's just a very um, generic, and then like you can see here, these are the facts that you should memorize. Um, it is Common Core, but it still has some really, really great math ideas in it. And it tells you all, you know, all of the concepts that they should know. So we will be using that as our last math supplement. 